There's nothing better than a vacation. With a drink in your hand and not a care in the world, you're living the good life. For millions all over the world, they choose to jump on a cruise ship for their vacation, and it gives them the opportunity to forget the stresses of everyday life. But what if I told you that there is a secret code on board cruise ships that unlocks a world for passengers that are looking for a little more than just beautiful beaches, drinks, and bingo? So what if I told you that this, oh, sorry, we gotta flip it upside down. What if I told you that this symbol here is the symbol of swingers? For the seasoned average cruiser, you probably already know about this secret life that goes on on board cruise ships and even on land. However, for the average Joe or the uninitiated, it just looks like potentially your favorite fruit, like it is mine, except for in this particular moment because it means something other than just the fruit that you eat. So the way this works is that a potential swinger will put an upside down pineapple on their cabin door. This means that the people inside are swingers or that maybe a little swinger schwar away, a party, a whole nanny, a get down going on in that particular room. Now to be clear, not everyone that wears the SpongeBob SquarePants house on their shirt is a swinger. I once had a friend of mine, Kyle Paolo. He's a fellow YouTuber, primarily doing Disney vlogs. He didn't know about the life that goes on on board cruise ships. So he had a shirt that had pineapples all over it and he was wondering why the beautiful couple Ryan and Sue kept staring at him and offering to buy him drinks. And well, he had to learn the hard way. Now, personally, I almost made that mistake once. I was at H&M uh, and I saw a cool button-up pineapple shirt and it looked right, but then the back of my mind told me that maybe it's not the best thing to do. This is before I knew about the, the rule and how everything works with that secret life. Aside from the old, reliable, traditional pineapple that people may use as a symbol for potential swingers, there are other ways that you can spot a swinger on board cruise ships. For starters, they could have a black ring, or they could also wear that black ring on the opposite hand, meaning the right hand. They could have it as a toe ring. I'm not gonna show you my feet because trust me, you don't wanna see that. They also could have specialty drinks, or maybe they could just be giving you the old I want you stare. You've probably seen the couple across the bar that can't stop looking at you. Yeah, I, I think you know what that means by now. They want a piece of you. So believe it or not, I have had my potential run in with swingers over the years, be it on land or especially on a cruise ship. I've only been on cruise ships as a passenger for the past year and some change. And well, it seems like every time something seems to happen, whether it's me with my girlfriend, Lauren, there are, are couples that seemingly are trying to collect us. Either that they're being super nice, inviting us back to their room for more drinks and you know, being very physical, trying to give me shoulder massages while we're just having a drink at the bar. You know, I, I assumed those were the usual signs. And also, maybe I'll talk about this on another day for a separate video, but whenever I go on a cruise alone, because this is typically what I do whenever I work, there is always the older women, the, the cougars, or even the couples that are always trying to collect me for some reason. I don't know what I did. However, uh, like I said, I got a ton of stories when it comes to that over the dozen of cruises that I've taken over the past year. So if you guys want to hear that, let me know in the comment section below because trust me, they are very interesting. So now I'll answer the big question that a lot of you are probably typing into the comment section as we speak. Where are the swingers? Everybody wants to know what kind of ships can we find them on? Well, there is a large variety in which you can find swingers pretty much on any regular cruise. There are large cruise ships, big cruise ships, but at the same time, I would say you would more likely find swingers in my experience on these smaller cruise ships where things are a little bit more intimate. And there's not a million things going on like zip lining and the surfing simulator, the skydive simulator, a million rest around stuff of that nature. There are also chartered or bought out cruises specifically designed for swingers. I remember earlier this year in March, I was sailing on board the largest cruise ship in the world, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, and directly to me, it was quiet and you wouldn't know just by looking at the situation, but directly next to us on Jewel of the Seas, they were actually hosting a swingers cruise. It was just wild to me because I just, I'm a people watcher. I was watching what kind of people were actually on this and well, I don't know, it was interesting. But there are also nude cruises as well. Most of this was made popular back around 2007, 2008 by a company called YOLO Cruises. They would charter out these cruises and they became extremely popular. When it came to the nude cruises, everybody there is not a swinger. However, they may have select nights where they have what's called the red room where it's couples only. And as you can imagine what goes down on in there. There is also a lot of rumors, a lot of talk of potentially an adult only cruise line known as Virgin Voyages that plays a 
big host to swingers and a lot of people that are just down for the get down, the people that love to bed wrestle. Now, honestly, I cannot confirm or deny this, but I can tell you right now, I've sailed with Virgin twice. I'm actually getting ready to go on a cruise on another Virgin Voyager ship out of Barcelona. And I would say, yes, being an adult only cruise, as you could imagine, the people, the couples there are a little bit more friskier than normal, but it does depend on the night and well, I guess maybe we'll see down the road. It's a brand new cruise line. So we'll see what it molds into between maybe the next five to 10 years. Now, this was a very quick dive into a small piece of what goes on within the cruise ship industry. I'm gonna leave it right here. I do have a couple questions for you guys on my way out. Did you know about any of this stuff prior to watching this video? If you did, maybe if you're not shy, if you participated in it, let me know in the comment section if you're willing to talk about it. Or you can just put the hashtag ship life is completely up to you if you don't wanna tell the story. Or maybe you've accidentally wore a pineapple shirt without having knowledge of what it actually meant on board cruise ships. Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys. I love you. I'm going to wrap this video up. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been sweating this entire video. I'm over here in France. Can you believe that they don't really believe in air conditioning systems over here? They don't even have fans. I'm dying. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later. I love you. Take it easy.